please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Raptors? Today is Friday, November 1st. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Seven more months of school left. You guys made it through three months of school. Now, now on to the daily news. news. Memories that last a lifetime. Photography takes an instant out of time. Treasuring life by holding it still. Dorothea Lange. Enjoy some photographs from the courageous students of Jansen Rowe Middle School. Keep smiling, James Monroe Middle School. Joke of the week with Savannah. This week's joke is... How can you tell a vampire sick? What's your name? Jordan what grade are you in? Grade. How can you tell a vampire sick? He's coughing. He's coughing. <laughs> Bye, rap. Affirmations by Alejandra. This week's affirmation is passionate. Today I interviewed sixth grader Cheyenne asking what she thinks passionate means. What grade are you in? And what do you think passionate means? Bye, Raptors. Raptor Verses by Francisco. Today, Ramon the Raptor will be doing a hula hooping contest against a JMMS student. Fun fact, did you know that hula hooping was used to exercise by Greeks and was introduced to Great Britain by the 1300s? Now, let's see who that student is. Hey. Aubrey. What's your grade? Six. Do you think you're going to beat Ramon? Yeah. Who do you think will win? Let's see. The student wins. See you later, Raptors. Head of the week by Gio. Dogs' noses are wet to help absorb scent chemicals. This is the picture of Miss Manfredi's pet. Hi, what's your name? My name is Miss Manfredi. Okay, and what's your, what's your pet's name? My pet dog, his name is Romeo. Okay, and what's your favorite memory with your pet? Um, my favorite memory with my pet is probably when he ran for Congress and won. Um, he's actually a sitting senator. Um, he wears bow ties, even on weekends. Um, I also, my favorite memory is just how routine he is. He's a little chihuahua and he's very smart and he loves um, his morning bone. And he wakes me up really early every day and spins around in circles. And I get to give him his treat, and he's just such a good boy, and I wish I could bring him to work with me. All right, thank you. Bye, Raptors. Food History Fact of the Week with Ariana. Today's history food is Pottage Circe. The History of Pottage Circe. This soup was said to be a dish that was served to the survivors of the Titanic when they were on board of the Carpathia. It was on the menu of the last meal served on the Carpathia before it returned to New York.
It had a very creamy and smooth texture, also having a buttery and savory taste. Today we interviewed an 8th grader named Sunny. What's your name? Uh, Sunny Terez and I'm in 8th grade. How do you think potted Cersei would taste? I think it would be very savory and very healthy for you. Would you ever consider making potted Cersei? I think I would because my family does make a lot of like different types of stews, so I think they really enjoy that. Why do you think this meal was popular on the Titanic's menu? I think it was popular because it had very minimal ingredients and it's very easy to make. Yippee! Thank you for listening, Raptors! Have a great day, Raptors!